good morning guys and welcome back to the channel today we are going out on a solo mission on the Mako, and i don't do that very often because i love going out and fishing with other people but today everybody was just a little bit busy and i still wanted to fish so i thought what better time to just roll out on the Mako by myself and do a little bit of dock fishing and maybe some old fishing that i used to do on the kayak and just see how that works out for us maybe pitch some live shrimp around docks throw some artificials at some of my old favorite spots that i used to go to don't really have a plan for today just kind of rolling out and gonna enjoy a nice peaceful morning on the water and if we can put a couple fish in the boat that will be a bonus first bite of the day right there guys i think he got my shrimp too because that was a good one he did rob me clean right there but that means we're in a good spot so let's get on another one so we're getting some little nibbles here my chesty died so sorry about the wind noise my microphone's on my chesty i'm gonna get it changed as soon as i get this fish up if we catch one here definitely getting some bumps down there on the bottom though I wouldn't mind catching a sheep's head today to take back home and cook up for lunch. It's pretty bad, but again, the main thing I'd like to have is some mangrove snappers. So we're going to see if we can't get into one or two of those. Here's another fish, guys. Oh, he broke me off. He didn't break me off, but the hook definitely pulled. There's a bite, and oh my gosh, guys. They just keep, they won't hang on to it. I don't get it. I don't understand what's happening there. They're just not hanging on to the shrimp. I mean, he had it and ran with it and didn't hang on to it. Oh, that's a good fish, guys. That's a good, oh, he broke me off. Dang it. That's a good fish. That was a good fish, guys. Said, could have been a big grouper, could have been a snapper. You just never really know on this structure what you're going to catch so something's already messing with it again though so maybe we'll get another shot at him another bite and there he is fish on and he's still pulling drag guys i don't know what these fish are but they are like ripping some drag and i don't even have tv drag set up that's the real deal oh man just a nice nice red snapper that's some of the biggest red snapper I have ever caught out of this place. Now, obviously, these guys are not in season, so not the target species of the day. However, they are fun to catch. That's a nice size red snapper right there, guys. Not bad at all. Right in the corner up there. It's a nice hook set. But the best thing is a safe hook set, and this fish is going to be just fine on this release no gill hook or anything like that but nice nice red snapper thank you buddy not too graceful on the release but a good fish so while these fish are very fun to catch they are not the target species because we have a very protected season here for red snapper and i think that comes in like june july something like that and then they open it back up for a few weekends in the fall um, but they are strictly off limits otherwise and i think the limit on them when you can keep them is like 16 inches so he wasn't big enough to keep anyways but they give you a good fight nonetheless but i'd really like to catch something that i could take home and throw on the cooker for some food there we go fish on that's a good fish guys i got lots of drag and he is still i got my drag real tight and he is still fighting for everything right here guys hoping he don't break my rod but if i let him get down in that structure i'm gonna be in trouble and he broke me off dang it that's another problem with here is you can't really give them much because if you do they're gonna get you in that structure and break you off just like that right there every time and he definitely broke me all the way off now i am using just a little pin fierce three 2500 i think i am going to go ahead and retie my my class two which is a 4000 just a bigger series reel and uh see if i can't do a little better pulling these guys out of this structure but some big fish so far just a lot of them getting off 
cycle up a little bit. I switched over to my Pen Class 2 4000 on Toadfish 7.2 medium, extra fast. Probably my favorite setup in the whole arsenal, if I'm being honest with you. I love using this thing. Um, the only reason I wasn't using it before is I broke off early just because I got hung up. I wasn't on a fish and I broke it off and I just hadn't retied it because I had that uh, pin fierce on. So hopefully I'll have a little more beefy power with this one and we can get these fish out of this structure here. So we're going to give it a go. One of the things I love about fishing right here is just the fact that you can catch so many different species. And I'm literally only about a mile outside of the mouth of Bayou Chico. So in Pensacola Bay, not out in the Gulf, I love coming out here and dropping a line in on a day if I'm just kind of fun fishing or not really targeting anything specific or maybe just trying to grab something for lunch. It's a great place to come and try to do that. Getting bit already, guys. Good bite and fish on. Gonna try to get him up quick here. There we go. He's pulling some drag, but I'm gonna try to work him up here, guys. You don't wanna give them too much drag here because they will get you back in that structure. Golly, there is some big red snapper in here today, guys. I mean, that's a that right there is a keeper red snapper, folks, if it was season. And of course, we've talked about it. We can't keep them because we're not in season, but that is a big fish right there, guys. It really is. Nice red snapper there, guys. It's getting back. Well, not a very graceful release, but there he was. I thought maybe he got my shrimp, but it feels like it's still on there. He definitely, like, took the back end off of it though as you can see that might have been a sheep's head bite right there actually guys because a lot of times they'll take the back half of a shrimp like that but either way we're gonna go ahead and get we got plenty of live shrimp today so we're gonna go ahead and get another one put on there decent little bite guys and fish on there we go this might be a different species no nope, it's gonna be another red snapper you can almost tell by the way no it's not it is a nice sheep's head. That's crazy. We just talked about wanting to catch a decent little sheep's head there. And there he is, folks. Not a bad sheeper at all in the boat. There you go, guys. Nice sheep's head. Like I said, I'm actually going to take him home and clean him up and have some black and sheep's head for supper. So what's cool about this is you come out here, you don't have a plan, and the next thing you know, you're catching fish after fish, and they're good sized fish. These are not babies, but today was just kind of, oh yeah, another fish on. Just as I was sitting there talking to you, I was just trying to do a talking piece, and now we're on again. This is probably gonna be another red snapper, I imagine. He, yeah, for sure, for sure. <laughs> So what I was saying was how fun it is to be able to come out here and catch multiple species of fish and just kind of enjoy yourself on a day like today. Oh, this guy is fighting and trying to smile me. But just another little cool Pensacola Bay red snapper. Again, can't keep these guys right now, but man, what a cool fight. Plus I already got lunch, so everything from here on out is just fun fishing. Get this guy back in the water and there he goes. Oh, I don't know if we are or not. It depends on whether he gets this video. Hey, I gotta go. I'm getting a bite. I'll be back. And another fish on, guys, right there. Oh, yeah, that's a good fish. That's a good fish, guys. If I can get him out of structure, that's a good fish. Ah, right, Chihuahua, come on up, buddy. I think I got him. I think I got him whooped. Right. Oh man, guys. This is going to be a good one. This is going to be a good one right here. Oh my gosh. That is a giant red snapper for in here, guys. Golly. No, 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 no. Oh my gosh. You're not going to believe this. Ha! Woo! Are you kidding me right now, baby? Yes. Look, guys, look at this. Look at this, guys. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me right now? Look at this. Big, giant bull red. Giant bull red. Maybe my new PB bull red. 
Oh, are you kidding me right now? Are you freaking kidding me, baby? Look at this. This might be my new PB bull red, guys. I was not expecting this bit fish to be out here. Oh my gosh. Woo! Are you kidding me right now? That is freaking awesome, guys. Let's get this guy up to the front of the boat. Get him out of the net and get him measured. <laughs> oh, guys, check this out. So close to beating my PB. He just tied him. That's a full 36 inch bull red right there, guys. Oh. Check out this fish, guys. That is a big old bull red. Caught him on live shrimp. Was not expecting to pull this guy out here, but I'm gonna get him back in the water. Tied my PB, that's a 36 inch bull red right there, but we're gonna get a safe release on him here. He ready to rock and roll. See you, buddy. Yes, guys. Woo! If I seem excited, it's because I am. That's the biggest fish I've ever caught at this spot, for starters. And <laughs> was not expecting that, man. Just, I, when he came up, I thought it was a big black drum um, because he just kind of rolled and I only saw a little bit of the top of him. And then when he rolled all the way over, I saw that black spot on his tail and realized that he was a red snapper, or I'm sorry, a red drum. And I definitely got super excited right there. So what a great fish to catch at this spot. I don't think I could have written up a better day of fishing if I had tried. It was just a blast out there on Pensacola Bay today. It was not too choppy. The weather is beautiful. I am so happy to see summer starting to roll back in because you guys know the winter was just brutal. But for now, I think we're gonna take this sheep's head back to the house and I'm gonna cook this guy up just a little bit different than you've ever seen us cook one before. You guys come check it out. All right guys, so we are back at the house in the backyard getting ready to fillet up this sheep's head. And we're gonna cook it a little bit different today because today we're actually gonna cook it on the Blackstone. Now the Blackstone's a unique grill because it actually works like a cast iron skillet almost. So I've already got that on and heating up. I may need to re-season a little bit because I haven't used it much, but we're doing that over there right now. For now, we're gonna get this fish filleted. I always like to fillet sheep's head starting with my electric bubble blade just because they got such a dense scale that by doing it this way, I can go ahead and use that serrated edge and get cut right through and then after i get it cut off i'll actually use the toadfish fillet knife to actually take it off of the skin but i do like to start with this bubble blade just because they have such thick scales and now once i get the fillet cut off the actual fish i go over and use my toadfish knife um, it is a super sharp knife and then that's how i actually remove the fillet off the skin and as you can see there it just cuts right through it I do want to start off by saying this video is not sponsored by Toadfish in any way, shape, or form, but this really is an amazing product. If you do not have a good fillet knife, they actually sell this in a kit with this, which is a folding fillet knife. Almost cut myself there. And then also a folding cutting board. And you can find these on the Toadfish website. I'm actually going to link that in the description below. Again, they do not sponsor us in any way. I really like what Toadfish stands for and what they do. If you've never kind of read the story on toadfish products you really should go on and kind of see what they do they do a ton of conservation effort stuff to restore oyster beds and things of that nature so i'm going to link the fillet kit down below make sure you go check them out they have a wide variety of products uh you know fillet knives cutting boards they're the ones that make the no tip can coolers which is really cool they make awesome fishing rods most of the rods i use now are toadfish rods so go give them a look and if it's something you guys are interested in buying check them out it goes to a really really great cause so I'm just gonna start off seasoning this up real good because what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna blacken this fish and we're just gonna eat it straight up. Not gonna do any kind of sauce today. Just gonna do seasoned fish, but we are gonna blacken it real good. Did salt, pepper, and gonna add a little bit of paprika to it. And at the end, you never beat good old Cajun seasoning. So what we're gonna do is just take a nice little slab of butter here, doesn't matter how much, and we're gonna actually lay it off on the back blackstone and let it start melting. Once it does that, we're just gonna work it around. And basically we're doing exactly like you see them do at Albachi. We're just making a little bed of butter here to lay our fish on, on the blackstone. And we're gonna cook this on a really, really high temperature. Oh. 
Now, this is not going to take very long to cook at all. All right, guys, so we've got it on here. We're going to go ahead and flip it once. As you can see, this is not taking long at all to cook because I am cooking it on an extremely high temperature. I basically got this thing cranked up as high as it'll go, so it is not going to take very long. So I've already cooked side one. I'm only going to let it sit on this side for probably 30 seconds to a minute, and then we're going to pull it off, and we're going to give it a go and see what it tastes like. All right, guys, so it is ready to pull off the black stone. And there you go. That is two real good looking sheep's head fillets right there. All right, so we're just gonna give this a try. Just pull this off the Blackstone, let it cool for just a minute. And we're gonna give it a try here. Oh man. This is probably the best fish I've ever made myself at home. Guys, check it out when you pull this apart. This is just a, a really flaky, white meat you just you can't beat this honestly it is so good hands down the best fish i've ever personally made at home and uh you know if you had a little sauce that you put with this i really wanted to taste it just to see if we got the blackening right if you put a little sauce with this it would literally send it over the top so i'm gonna take <clears throat> That's going to wrap it up for this video, guys. I'm going to enjoy the rest of my lunch. I hope you guys enjoyed coming along with me this morning as I took a solo trip out on the bay in the Mako and put a whole bunch of fish in the boat and had a blast in the process. Let's be honest. A good morning of fishing will beat a good day at anything else, any day of the week. We'll see y'all soon. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. We cannot thank you enough for tuning in with us each and every week for all of these adventures. Make sure you leave a comment down below and let us know what you thought about this episode. We'd really like to hear from you. And if you're new here, we would love it if you'd take a moment and smash that subscribe button. I hope each and every one of you has a great week and we can't wait to see you on the next one. Y'all take care and we'll see you soon.